So do you know what happened to this guy, Mass Amida, both during the original trilogy and after Palpatine's death? Well, after the Empire took over, he became the Grand Vizier, one of the few people in the galaxy to actually know Palpatine's real identity as Darth Sidious. He worked very closely to Palpatine and was a very public figure in the Senate. But once Palpatine died and the Empire was thrown into chaos, he locked himself in the Imperial Palace on Coruscant, still trying to churn out propaganda videos to the entire empire despite him barely having any control. After a while when everything was just going worse and worse he actually contemplated taking his life by jumping off the palace but he was actually kept alive and tortured by soldiers loyal to Gallius Rax for months in order to just pump out propaganda videos for the empire despite him actually wanting to surrender to the new republic. So a couple of children managed to sneak into the imperial palace actually to assassinate him but when they saw the state he was in broken down they actually decided to help him escape instead in order to surrender to the new republic and around the same time the battle of Jakku happened and Gallius Rax died and then Masamida met up with Mon Mothma on Chandrilla to sign the Galactic Concordance officially ending the Galactic Civil War. He was then made into a powerless political figure on Coruscant leading its provisional government and was remembered by history as a weak-willed servant of the Emperor. 